Hey everybody, this is Ryan King, and in this Blender tutorial, we're going to be making this mushroom forest scene. We're going to be using Blender 2.82, which is the current stable version as I record this tutorial. And so uh, here's the finished scene right here. So this tutorial is going to be split up into two parts. So the first part is going to be uh, modeling and sculpting, and then the second part is going to be the lighting, the materials, the rendering, and compositing. And we're also going to be doing some texture painting on the mushroom. And I would suggest if you have like a drawing tablet or a screen tablet or something like that, that would be helpful for the sculpting and the texture painting. If you don't, you can use your mouse. Uh, that's fine as well. But I would suggest if you do have a drawing tablet or something that you use that. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using two resources online. I'm going to be using this cave wall on HDRI Haven. The link will be in the video description if you want to use it. Uh, I'm just going to download the 1K version. And then the other resource I'm going to be using is this burned ground on Texture Haven. The link will be in the video description. Both of these resources I'm going to be using in part two because in part two we're going to be doing the lighting and materials and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to let you know about that. All right, so here I am in Blender 2.82. That's the current stable version as I record this. And I'll just turn on my screencast keys really quick. And uh, I'm just going to start off by deleting everything because I don't want all this stuff. And we're going to start by modeling the stem of the mushroom. So I'm going to press Shift A and add a cylinder. And I'll click right here and just change this to 8 on the vertices. Minimize that. And now I'll press 1 for front view. And I'll tab into edit mode Z and move my mouse this way for a wireframe. I'll deselect everything, just select this top and I'll E and extrude it out, scale it down a little bit and rotate it and scale it and then press E again to extrude it and just rotate it a bit and do that one more time just to make the stem of our mushroom. And I'm just gonna uh, refine the shape just so that it's how I like. Okay, I like that. So now I'm gonna add a subdivision surface modifier to smooth it out. So I'll click right here on the modifiers, add modifier and then add a subdivision surface. I'll set the uh, viewport and render to four, and then I will go object and I'll go shade smooth. Uh, now the top and bottom have been kind of rounded out and I don't want that. So I'm gonna tab into edit mode. I'll alt select uh, these loop of vertices and I'll press control B and that'll add a bevel and I'll just go like that. And then I'll do that for the bottom too. So I'll go right here and then I'll press control B and add a bevel just like that. And I'm also going to add a loop cut by pressing control R and just drop the loop cut right down there like that. All right. And so now I want this stem to be a bit fatter. So I'll tab into edit mode and I'll just uh, go into wireframe mode, press B and just kind of move some of these down. So I'll press B, select this, move this down and just, and then I'll just uh, select everything and just scale it up a little bit. All right. That looks definitely a lot better. And now I want to give the stem a bit of a bumpiness or just kind of some randomness, kind of some noise. So to do that, I'm going to click on add modifier and I'm going to add a displace modifier. And I'll just click on new to add a new texture on this, that displacement modifier. And then I'll click right over here and that'll take us to the texture panel. And then instead of image or movie, I'm going to change the type to clouds. And now you can see it's giving us a lot of noise. Now this is way too much. Uh, I'm going to change the size of the size to two, <laughs> the size of the size. And now you can see the, the bumps are a lot bigger and that's what I want. Now, right now the strength is way too high. So I'll just go back over here to the modifiers and I'll turn the strength way down uh to something like that okay so there we go i like that a lot better and then just to make that look a little bit nicer i'm going to add another modifier and i'll add another subdivision surface and then just set these both to one maybe turn the strength up just a tiny bit more okay something like that i like how that looks so uh the stem's finished i'm going to uh model the ground now so i'll press uh, shift a and we're going to add a circle and I'm going to scale this circle up like this with S. I'll tab into edit mode, press F to fill that face. And then I'll press E to extrude that up and then S to scale it down a bit. 
and then E to extrude it up again and scale it way down. And this is actually too high up, so I'll press G and Z, pull it down, and then S to scale it up a little bit. And then this, maybe I'll press G, Z, pull it down. So I'm Alt, Alt clicking on this edge to select it, and then G and Z. All right, I'm gonna add a subdivision surface modifier. I'll press Control 2, and that'll add the subdivision surface modifier, or you can just go here and click on subdivision surface. And I'll set this up to like three. And you can see it's uh, pulling the mesh a little bit. So I'm gonna tap into edit mode. I'll press three to go to face select, click on this and then press, pre just press I and I will inset that face and get away most of that um, stretching. And we're having it on the bottom here too. So I'll click on this face and press I uh, just like that. So that looks a lot nicer. I'll go to object and I'll click on shade smooth. And now I want to give this a bit more uh, bumpiness too, because this is going to be the uh, earthy ground. So I'll click on add modifier and I'll add a uh, displace modifier. I'll click new again, do the same thing. So I'll click right here, scroll up and right here, I'm going to click on clouds. And then this, I actually want the scale to be uh, the size to be really big. So I'm going to do maybe 0.9 and then we need to turn the strength way down because the strength is way too high. So we'll go over here to the modifiers and then on the strength, I'll just turn this down uh, to something just kind of like that. That looks pretty good. Now I do want to add a little bit more geometry in here because you can see there's kind of like more detail here and kind of less detail here. So I'll tab in edit mode, press control R and just add a loop cut right in there. And that maybe looks a bit better. Maybe I'll add two more loop cuts. So I'll press control R right there and then click and then other click and then control R and other click. All right, just like that. So it kind of gives it more detail spread around the object. We're not going to see the bottom, so it doesn't really matter that you can see a little bit of stretching like that. And I want to turn the strength down a bit, so maybe 0 0.05. And then just to kind of make that look a little bit nicer, I'm going to add another modifier and add another subdivision surface. Now, if this is lagging up your scene at all, you can just turn the viewport to none, and then it'll still render as one because the render is set to one. Uh, so you can do that if you want. Let's just save our project by pressing Control S or going File and Save. And I'm just going to save this on my desktop. And now I'm going to create the mushroom kind of umbrella, the big area of the mushroom. So I'll press shift A and I'll add a circle and I'll press G, Z, pull up the circle, scale it out a bit. And then I'll tap into edit mode and press F to fill that face. I'll press one for the vertice select or vertex select. I'll press E and just extrude that up and then S and bring it out a bit and then E, bring it up and I'll press S and kind of scale it down just that it's making that kind of mushroom uh, look. And I'll press E again and then scale it down a lot more. Something like that, that might be actually too high up. So I'll press Z, go into wireframe, and then press A, or press B and box select this area, and then G and Z, pull it down a bit. Maybe select this and bring it down a bit. Okay, something like that. Uh, now I'm gonna add a subdivision surface. So I'll press control two to add a subdivision surface and just bring uh, this up to like four, the view and render to four. And you can see it's kind of stretching the mesh again. So I'll just make sure this is selected and press I and just bring that down a lot smaller like that. And I'd actually don't need this to be that high. So I'll just bring it down to like three and then I'll go here uh, and I'll press three to go to face select. Select this bottom face and press I just to inset it like this. And then I will press E, bring it up a little bit and scale it down. And then just so that it doesn't have any stretching, I'll press I again, just like that. All right, so now we have our uh, basic mushroom shape. I will apply the subdivision surface modifier and then I'll go to object and just shade it smooth. And just to make sure the size is all correct on the mesh, I'm just gonna press control A and I'll just apply all transforms. So I'm gonna be using my screen drawing tablet to sculpt this. You can use like a pad tablet or something like that. Or if you don't have any drawing tablet, you can use your mouse. It just might not turn out as good and it might be a little bit harder to use. 
So I will just select this, press H to hide it, and select this and press H to hide it. And then I'll just press period on the number pad to zoom in to this object. And now I'm gonna jump over to my drawing tablet. All right, so I've jumped over to my drawing tablet right here and I have the little pen and I'm gonna be doing some sculpting now. So uh, let's go over to the sculpting uh, layout right here and let's just find, where's our object? Oh, here it is, it's up here. Okay, and uh, let's do some sculpting now. So I will just uh, go down to the bottom right here and I'm gonna just move down like this and I'm gonna turn on the dino topology. And what that'll do is it'll add more geometry to our mesh while we're sculpting. So I'll just turn the detail size way down cause I wanna have more detail, something like that. Now I'm going to just select the crease brush. So I'll just turn the strength up a lot more. And now I can just start to do some sculpting. So I'll press F and that'll make the brush smaller. And I'm just going to turn on symmetry on the Y and X. That way, when I draw, I won't have to do it as many times. Like It'll just uh, copy it. So I'm just going to start sculpting and adding in these little creases. I'll zoom in a bit and add more detail. And you can sculpt with a mouse. Uh, it just may not turn out quite as good. Also, the posture is not quite as good uh, for your wrist and everything. So it's a lot better to sculpt with a tablet and it's also just funner. So if you have a tablet, that's great. If you don't, you still can follow the tutorial and sculpt this with a mouse. So I'm just gonna be adding in all these little details. Uh, I wanna add in some more creases right here and just find some different areas that need a little bit more. So like this, I'm going to add more detail in like that. Okay, that's pretty good for that brush. And then what I want to do is uh, the other parts, I want to kind of bump it out a little bit. So I'll just click on this draw brush, make the, the uh, brush a little bit bigger with F. And then I will just kind of go along here and just sculpt this out and just kind of make these edges kind of bump up a little bit. All right, and you can see that's starting to look cool. I do wanna add kind of a bit of bumpiness on the top of the mushroom, so I'm just gonna turn off uh, symmetry right here, and then I'll click on this clay strips brush, and I will just start adding in some more detail. So I don't really want this. This is uh, the pen pressure for how big the brush is. I don't really want that right now, so I'm just turning that off, and I'm just gonna go around and just add some different lumpiness. And then if I wanna smooth it out, I can use the smooth brush by pressing S or I can just hold down shift and go across and that'll just uh, smooth it out. So I'll just go like this, just add a little bit of kind of randomness right here, just kind of smooth it out. And then I'm gonna use the grab brush. So I'll press G, that's the shortcut key for the grab brush. And then I'll press F, just make my brush nice and big and I'll just kind of pull this out. So I'll pull the top out a little bit and I'll just kind of pull around these things just to give it a little bit more random shape and maybe pull this up a little bit more. I don't want this to be quite as uh, sharp as it is on the top. So I'll just bring that down a little bit. Maybe just make this a little more rounded on the edges. You can just make it however you want. And then I'll just uh, smooth this out a little bit by holding down the shift key. And I'll just very lightly smooth out some of this stuff. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much done for the sculpting. So I'm just gonna click back on this layout and now we're back here and I'll just click object and I'll click on shade smooth. Now in part two, I am gonna be using my drawing tablet to do some texture painting when we texture paint uh, this model right here. Again, you can just use a mouse, but I am gonna be using my drawing tablet in part two for texture painting. All right, so I'm back on my main monitor now, and I'm just gonna press Alt H and that'll unhide these other objects. And so we've made uh, three of the objects that we need. Uh, the last objects that we're gonna model is the grass. So to model the grass, I'll just, uh, I'll just save this first. So Control S, 
uh, now that we've done sculpting, just to make sure I save again and press shift A and I'm going to add a plane. I'll just press G and then hold down my middle mouse wheel and just constrain it to that X axis, move it over like this. I'll press period to zoom into it and then I'll press R and X and just rotate it up and I'll type in 90 degrees and press enter. Uh, now I will tab into edit mode. I'll select everything and I'll press G, Z and pull it up just so that it's almost right up there. And then you can see the origin point is right there. And then I will press uh, one for vertex select, select these two vertices and I'll press one on the number pad for front view. And then I will press E and extrude this up and just scale it, rotate it and extrude it and just kind of make a little grass blade. So uh, I'll just make a grass blade pretty easy, just like this. All right. And so now I'm going to add some thickness to this. So I'll click on add modifier and I'll just add the solidify modifier just right there. And I'll just uh, make sure it has some thickness just like that. And then I'll press control two to add a subdivision surface and I'll go object and shade smooth. And then I do want to give this a little more geometry. So I'll press control R click and then other click. And then I'll press control R again and just bring that down like that. Uh, and so now we have a grass blade. So I do want to make this grass blade a little bit thinner. So I'll just bring the thickness a little bit down and okay. So now we have one grass blade. I want to make a, a three more though. So I'll just shift D and duplicate this mesh, bring it over and, I'll, and then I'll press tab to go into edit mode and uh, Z and bring my mouse over to the left for wireframe. And then I'll just box select some of these and just uh, kind of move them and rotate them around so that our grass blade so that our grass blade looks different. Okay, so now I've made another grass blade and I'm gonna add another grass blade within that object so it kind of looks like a clump. So I'll press uh, tab into edit mode and shift D to duplicate this grass blade and then I'll press R, Z and rotate it around and just maybe scale it down, rotate it a bit. So it's kind of like a little clump of grass and then I'll just go into uh, wireframe mode and just kind of change uh, the shape of it just a bit so that it kind of looks different. Okay, and then I'll do that again. I'll shift D this one this time, and then I'll tab in edit mode, and I'm gonna make a bigger clump. So I'm pressing seven for top view on the number pad, and then I'll duplicate this with shift D, rotate it around a bit, scale it on the Z, and just bring it down. And then I can also just change the shape of this a bit just by rotating it. And then I'll select both of these, shift D them, R and Z to rotate, and just rotate them around. And then maybe I'll scale them down a bit, and then just maybe have them coming out like this. Something like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, this one, I think this is bending over a little too much. So to just select this piece of grass, I'm going to just hover my mouse over it and press L. And that'll select all the vertices that are linked to the one that you were hovering over. So then I'll just kind of move this around a bit, maybe scale it up. Okay, that looks better. And then this one, I'll just shift D this one more time. I'll tab into edit mode and just sort of change it so that it looks different. So just selecting the vertices, moving them around a bit, and then I'll shift D this and scale it down, kind of rotate it and just make one more grass blade or gr little clump of grass so that it just looks a bit different. Okay, so now I have uh, these four different blades of grass and they all are pretty unique. So you can just make the grass look however you want. And uh, this is gonna be uh, part one. So in part two, we're gonna be doing the materials and the lighting and rendering and compositing. And then we're also gonna be doing a little bit of texture painting. So we've modeled all these objects. So uh, join me in part two. I'm gonna be uploading part two uh, really quickly after I upload part one. So it should be right here. I'll add uh, the video link. Uh, if it isn't right there, it will be up soon. And there will also be a link of part two in the video description. So if you wanna go down and just watch part two or just watch it right here. So I will see you in part two.